Hi and welcome to this short video just covering the notion of the use of history in both NetBeans and IntelliJ to revert back to previous versions of code. Now it goes without saying that this doesn't make up for bad coding but it is a good tool for when you want to revert straight back to the entire version of code or get rid of selected lines that you may have fe fe felt ruined your algorithm or your presentation. So looking here at NetBeans, we've got a simple piece of code here and it's quite simple enough. Okay, there's a for loop and it prints out a value of i and it prints out a value of a counter. Okay, so I'm just going to run this here and we can see here that it generates this output which looks okay but then again you might say to yourself hang on a second that's the wrong value and what if I messed about with it a bit so if I just maybe comment out that line there and let's just say what would happen if I printed out i plus one okay and we run this okay and oh my god okay it does print out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten but for one reason or another, you're saying to yourself, hang on, this is wrong. Okay, so I want to either revert to previous versions altogether or just make small changes to wherever changes were made. So you can see above here, right, this is in NetBeans, that you've got source view and you've got history view. And history view is also available, okay, under two, under team and under history and show history. But if we just go here and revert from the history tab, you can see here, right, it has a list of all the different, like here now it's 11.59, okay, so if we clicked on that, obviously you can see that the slight changes that we made, okay, and if we click on 11.48, you can see then again, small changes again that we've made vis-a-vis -vis the version that was then, vis-a-vis -vis the version is now. Now, you can see here that that's 11.47, and this is the current file. So if we look back through and we kind of say, okay, I want to go back to when the code actually worked properly. So we can actually see here at 11.46 that it does have system out.print i and the system out.print ln counter. Now, you might say to yourself, I don't care whether it's right or wrong, but I want to make, okay, an individual change. Now, if you wanted to make an individual change, you can see here that there's an arrow there. Okay, and if I click on that, okay, it will make the change that was at 11.46, but just to that line. Okay, so if I go back here to source, okay, that's there then. But if I wanted to, that's a simple way, but if I wanted to revert all of the code back to a previous version, or even forward it. Okay, let's just click on that there. Okay, it's still much the same code. Still much the same code, but let's just go back a bit. Let's just say 11.41. Okay, you can see that it is a different printout. Now, yes, I could change that one line all among, you know what I mean, one line only, and leave it at that, but you can see that there's two or three changes here, right? You can see that there's two or three changes here. And if I wanted to revert all in one go, I can right-click up here and go revert from history, and then click on source, and I can walk from that version then. Okay, so that's NetBeans, and the, pr uh, the process is much the same in IntelliJ. Okay, so here I've got a simple program again, it's just a simple case, um, boom, boom, of a switch statement, and you've got a few cases there, it's just basically checking whether a character is a vowel or not. Okay, so if I go here to VCS, and across here to what was I going to say? Not window, but where was it? VC, yes, sorry, sorry, even I get lost. Okay, go to local history and go to show history. Okay, the dialog box and so forth is a bit different, but obviously it's a different provider. But you can see here that yes, we've got okay, if we wanted to replace, okay, well, it says here accept. So what it's saying here is, is this is that look. Bling, and you can see that it's kind of changed back to the way it was. Okay, and obviously that, and you can go through it line per line and accept the individual changes. Okay, and that's grand and fine. And obviously if I close that, then the individual change is done. But if I wanted to then, like what I showed you before, okay, to go back through and kind of say, hang on a second, look, I might as well accept all the changes. 
okay and you can see that there's a good few changes if we go back further and further there's a good few changes and all i need to do is right click here and revert okay and close this dialog box and it's back okay now again as i said at the start of the video this does not make up for bad coding it doesn't but one good thing is is obviously as you know yourself anyone coding is you go away for the evening and your code is working perfect you come back the following morning you put in two lines of just even a printout and all of a sudden your code doesn't work what do you do okay obviously it's good to say okay i haven't lost everything i can revert back to the way it was do that okay so hopefully this helps out one or two people and if not tough look but if so thank you and leave comments down below and um questions and hopefully do uh, maybe subscribe if you like to okay take care have a good one and keep practicing